So what to do? Attitude check, I've talked about that a few times. Check your attitude. If you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you're emotionally charged, and you have to go have a conversation with somebody, don't. Put yourself in the right attitude. Think about what you're gonna say before you say it. Choose your words carefully. And also, the rate in which you speak and how you pronounce your words. I tend to speak fast, so some people get lost. And unless they say, Chris, you spoke too fast, I didn't hear you, chances are they're not gonna get my message. And the tough thing is that we have a problem saying, you know what, Chris, I didn't understand what you said. We take and we do that selective hearing thing, we go, well, I kind of got a couple of words, so I'm going to put that together and I'm going to see if that's right. So think about the rate in which you speak. I have to slow down, so I know that. I'm kind of simple, so now I'm going to see what she has to say. Pronounce your words. Never, never, ever, 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 ever interrupt. Wow. What does that say to somebody? Somebody's sitting there talking. Sherry, I got this idea. I think it'd be great for it. Christopher, up the... Okay, so I guess what I had to say wasn't important. Okay, you got control of the floor now? Well, what's this? Let people talk it out. If you're in an argument, let people get it out. Don't try to defend yourself. Let them let it, get it all out. Because once they got it out, what do they got? Nothing. Nothing but time to listen to you. <laughs> do not interrupt. I've seen board meetings. I've seen relationships, groups. Somebody's talking, oh, there goes that interrupter again, and then what happens? I don't wait until they get done talking because they can get on the world. It's hard. It's hard because we get excited. We want to jump on the back and make it with them. Sometimes we're like, I agree with you, I agree with you. Just listen. Paraphrase? That's huge. So what I heard you say was, you want me to go ahead and have that report to you on your desk by Monday at 5 o'clock, and you want these things to be included. Is that correct? Yes. No. It wasn't. I'm sorry. I meant by Tuesday. Okay, great. You guys walk away from the conversation. You have a win-win situation. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. So I'm, I'm just not getting it. What more do you want from this particular situation? I'd like to get more of your thoughts on this. Ask questions. It strengthens relationships because then people believe that you're investing in them and you're just not there to talk about yourself. As far as relationships go, is now a good time. Sometimes you may walk into somebody's office and say, Okay, I gotta talk to you about this, da 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 da. You don't know that they just got a phone call from their daughter saying they're pregnant. You don't know if they just got a phone call from their husband saying their mother in law just got put in the hospital and is on life support. You don't know whether or not they just found out their husband was cheating on Walk in, if you gotta talk about something that's serious, say, you know, is now a good time? Because they may turn like, you know what, now's not a good time. And if you don't ask that question, you go about your business, chances are they're not gonna listen to you, they're only gonna hear what you're gonna say, you're gonna walk out. Nothing's going to be resolved. It's a waste of time. Who wants another red hot bonus tip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Visualization. I learned about this about four or five years ago. And I learned about it in a weird way. How many of you guys have had a bad dream? Say yes. Oh, yes. yes. Come on. Yes. 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 When you woke up, did you feel like what you dreamt about actually happened? Yes. yes. Okay. It's because your mind does not know the difference between reality and perceived reality. So you woke up, and you're just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Heart's racing, just, okay. You can use that same technique when you're dealing with relationships. When you're dealing with anything, I talk about the goal <coughs> setting and attitude. If you can close your eyes, if you're gonna go into your boss's office and say, you know what, the first quarter profits that I told you were gonna be $500,000, or only gonna be $300,000, I know he's gonna be pissed. Oh my god, I'm sweating hands. I'm like, if you visualize in your mind for a few days, you see that scene. Okay, I'm gonna walk in there, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna see him upset, I'm gonna stay calm, I'm gonna have a few solutions that are gonna help us get back on track, I'm gonna remain composed. You know, you start doing that, and you, you get that role playing in your mind, your body starts to become conditioned to it. And then when it actually happens, you almost feel like, okay, this seems kind of surreal, this seems like I've already done it before. Visualization is huge, try it with your goal setting, try it with your relationships, try it with everything, because it will start to manifest itself in your subconscious. I'm not going to talk about this for a really long time, but I just wanted, again, another factor of having successful relationships is different people have different learning types. I used to have a bad relationship with a coworker, but I almost quit my job. I could not stand her any longer. I was going to quit my job. I had enough. My boss was like, you two just need to understand each other. You two just need to get, get past your stuff. And it wasn't until I realized that she was a visual person, and I was an auditory person, as far as the way we communicated, the way we shared reports. She would yell things at me, and I would need to see them. 
So once I realized that if you know what type of learning style that your boss is predominantly, or your coworkers are predominantly, or your customers are predominantly, do they like to see brochures? Do they like to just hear the facts? The last one, kinesthetic. That's the one that drives me bonkers because I'm a very energetic person. Yeah. And kinesthetic people, they want to. Okay. Well, that's kind of me. Uh, how does this apply to me? They're very, they want to touch it, feel it, sense it, bring it into themselves. And if you're excited, you want to, okay, what are, what are we going to do with this? Well, I want to kind of, let me give us some thought. That will drive you bonkers. But if you know somebody's kinesthetic, especially if it's your loved ones, you just sit there and go, here's the shiny thing. I'll come back, I'll come back in a couple of days when you have time to think about it. I do a whole other presentation on, on, on learning styles too, but I just wanted to throw that out for you because again, there's so much in the mix for us to have healthy and positive relationships no matter where we go.